A Finwawa The Afinwawa is a mixed breed dog a cross between the Chihuahua and Afin Pinscher dog breeds. Petite, sassy, and highly energetic, these pups inherited some of the best traits from both of their parents. Afinwawas are also sometimes called Afinchi. Despite their status as a designer breed, you can find these mixed breed dogs in shelters and rescues, so adopt. Don't shop. These compact, cute pups make great apartment dogs for active city dwellers, though they can also thrive in smaller single-person households. They can also be a bit territorial and yippy. If you want an energetic, sassy dog who will keep you on your toes, alert you to any dangers, and love you unconditionally, the Afinwawa may be the right dog for you. Dog Time recommends this carrier for traveling with your small Afinwawa. You should also pick up this dog water bottle for any outdoor adventures you have with your pup. Highlights The Afinwawa is a mixed breed dog. They are not purebreds like their Afin Pincher or Chihuahua parents. Afinwawas have high energy levels. Make sure your dog gets at least one good half hour to hour long walk per day with a few goods, active play sessions, and shorter walks mixed in. The main colors of Afinwa was are black, brown, fawn, and cream. Sometimes their coats are solid, and sometimes they have a mix of colors or have white and gray spotting. They usually have short coats and may be a good choice for allergy sufferers. There are longer coated Afinwawas, though they may not be as allergy friendly. Brush your dog once a week. Since the Afinwawa can be easily injured by overly excited children, they may prefer to be around adults or older kids who know how to play gently. Afinwawas aren't naturally fond of other animals and may prefer to be the sole pet in the home. But many get along just fine with other dogs and cats, so it comes down to training, socialization, and the luck of the draw. Afinwawas can be stubborn and difficult to house train, but for an energetic, diligent owner, the dog's desire to please will help keep training on the course. History of Finwawas have likely existed naturally throughout the years, but designer breeders started intentionally mixing Afin Pinchers and Chihuahuas sometime in the late 1990s or early 2000s, likely in the United States. Breeders wanted to combine the two small breeds to create a sweet lap dog who could also alert their owners of potential intruders or danger. They continued to make Afinwa was as the demand for the mixed breed dogs climbed. Even though the Afinwa breed got its start as a designer breed, some have ended up in shelters or the care of rescue groups. Consider adoption if you decide this is the breed for you. Check your local shelters, look up rescues, or check with breed-specific Afin Pinscher or Chihuahua rescues, as they sometimes take in mixed breed dogs and find homes for them. Size as the Afinwawa is a relatively new mixed breed, there are few standards when it comes to size. That said, as a mix between Chihuahua and Afin Pinscher parents, you can expect Afinwawas to be on the small side. Most weigh in at 4 to 12 pounds and range in height from 6 to 12 inches from the shoulder. Many can be smaller or larger than average. Personality The Afinwawa is a small mixed breed dog who acts a lot bigger than they are. Like their Chihuahua parents, Afinwawas can be somewhat stubborn, even with their humans. Still, Afinwawa enthusiasts say that the small crossbred dog is highly trainable, as long as their training is consistent. This lap dog oscillates from having large amounts of spontaneous energy think having the zoomies to be a complete couch potato. If you are looking for a small lap dog who enjoys playing around a fetch or tug of war as much as they do snuggling and binge watching the latest series, the Afinwawa might be the right pup for you. As both of their parents, the Afinwawa is often described as yippy. This small dog will alert you of any potential danger or little things they misinterpret as danger, like a knock on the door. Since they are smaller, they may even become somewhat protective of their human and get snippy with strangers. To avoid any unwanted guarding behavior, it's important to start training your Afinwawa as early as possible. These dogs do best with early training to curb any unwanted barking habits. They can be stubborn and difficult to house train, but for an energetic, diligent owner, the dog's desire to please will help keep training on the course. Afinwawas also tend to latch onto one family member most of all, though they can get along with others in the house. This small dog may be best suited to a one-person home or smaller families, as they love being the center of attention. 
healthy Afinwawa breed is predisposed to some of the same conditions that the Chihuahua and Afin Pinscher also face. While most are generally healthy, some may be prone to a few health issues, which is why it is important to maintain good care and regular veterinary checkups. Some of the more common health problems the Finwawas suffer from include, O collapse trachea O hip dysplasia O dental disease O patellar luxation, caris with all dogs, be sure to keep regular veterinary checkups for your Finwawa to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your dog healthy. Afinwawas are prone to weight gain, and they have high energy levels. Make sure your dog gets at least one good half hour to hour long walk per day with a few goods, active play sessions, and shorter walks mixed in. Check their ears for debris and pests daily and clean them as recommended by your vet. Trim your dog's nails before they get too long usually once or twice per month. They should not be clicking against the floor. Your groomer can help with this. Your main concern when it comes to your Afinwa was care will be maintaining their oral health, as small dogs are prone to dental health issues. Be sure to brush their teeth daily. Your veterinarian can instruct you on how to brush your dog's teeth properly. Feeding an ideal Afinwa diet should be formulated for a small breed with high energy. These small dogs also have a tendency to gain weight if they are overfed, so be sure to stick to a regular feeding schedule and not leave food out during the day. Limit their amount of treats, too. As with all dogs, the Afinwawa's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change into their senior years. You should ask your veterinarian for recommendations about your Afinwawa's diet, as there is far too much variation among individual dogs including weight, energy, and health to make a specific recommendation.